Welcome to this randomised user game guide for Savage Lands, giving you the top 10 beginner's tips to get started with this new early access game. If you want to see more gameplay, see my full Let's Play series of Savage Lands by following the links in the description. 1. Comb your spawn beach and pick up everything you can find, no matter how unpromising. 2. Along the coast, near the spawn points, you'll find a few small structures where you may find food, tools and flint. Make the most of these. Around the map, such items tend to only spawn near evidence of humanity, such as old ruins, stone huts and burnt out campfires. 3. The survival checklist, which is mapped to the J key, is invaluable guidance for the early game, giving hints how much stuff you need to collect. But never get just enough, you'll always need more, more, more raw materials. 4. However, don't fill your inventory with unprocessed wooden logs. They don't stack, and they're by far the easiest raw material to harvest in the game, so just cut down trees when you actually need logs. 5. Kill all animals. This provides meat for healing, hides for armour, and sinew, which is needed to craft many basic tools. If you're finding deer tricky to hunt, creep up on them from behind, using control to creep, and if they bolt, break your line of sight with the animal and it should slow down for you to try again. 6. Need more cloth for bandages? Go after skeletons. If you avoid them they're no trouble, but you'll need to kill some for certain raw materials, and they sometimes drop cloth, just not always. 7. Build a fire, but only after you've killed a lot of animals and picked up their raw meat. Campfires have a limited lifespan, so you'll want to get cooking as soon as you can. 8. Find the abandoned village and make it your base. The village will furnish you with lots of items, and if you survive long enough, those items respawn. To find the village, keep a lookout for the dragon's tower on the horizon. It's not too far from there, somewhere between that and the beach that you spawn on. 9. Build a new spawn point in the village. Kill three skeletons, or perhaps a few more, to get human skulls, then build the pole of resurrection. Every time you die, you'll reappear in the village, and won't need to panic so much about survival. 10. Supplies of stone and flint can run dry very quickly, so either find a hammer or craft one using sinew, wood and stone. Hit rocky outcrops with it to mine them dry. You'll also pick up metal ores from those outcrops, which are used to craft compasses and lots more besides. Occasional outcrops provide more valuable ores, used to craft more advanced stuff. And that's my top 10 tips for beginners in Savage Lands. Soon you'll be well on the way to moving on from your village and exploring the rest of the island, building your own encampments and being killed by everything that moves. Thanks for watching, subscribe to Randomised User for more videos like this, and see you next time.